Hey guys, Ryan here, and today we're bringing you a replay in the Tier 5 Swedish Tank Destroyer, the IKV-103. This is continuing my grind up to the STRV 103 b and the Tier 4 TD I quite liked. This thing might be the worst tank I've ever played in the game, not including artillery. I hate this thing. Now, real quick, we're on mines. Um, we did get the decent spawn, to be fair. Um, it is a tier 7 game, but there's only a few tier 7s per team. I think our team has 2 and the enemy has 3, so... Although I am 2 tiers down, it's not really that bad, because there's not, there's not many of them. Um, now, I'm not going to go to the hell, because I'm in a bottom tier tank destroyer with no hit points and no armor. Now, this vehicle, why do I hate it? It's reasonably mobile. It has a very punchy gun with like 300 alpha. And it's got insane camo and gun depression. So with the lack of armor, lack of hit points in the same camo, this tank's made for sniping. But the gun doesn't lend itself to sniping because it's a bit it's a derp gun and you only get heat. Heat is standard, heat is premium, you don't get high explosives with this gun. And the shell velocity is horrifying. Um, and what that means is it's very hard to hit people, especially at range, which is where this tank is best at, because you don't have the armor or the health to be up close. The other issue is because it's heat. Even if you do hit, it bounces so many times. The amount of tank, like, I've shot flat in the side, and I just crit damage because it gets absorbed by the tracks because it's heat. It's painful. If you're going to see this game, a lot of shots that I bounce. Obviously not that one right there, but, you know, <laughs> poor timing. This T1 Heavy, Tier 5 Heavy tank. Now, I let that shot a bit too much, and it bounced off its front. Um... And something I want to mention is, I did realise after I'd finished grinding this tank, that the stock derp gun thing does get high explosive. So I might have been better off using the stock gun, because then, it'll still have the shitty shell velocity, but if I hit someone in the side, rather than the tracks absorbing it, I'm at least going to do some damage. So, that's all the reasons I hate this tank, it's basically just the gun. I like having proper anti-tank guns, basically, that can actually hit things and actually pan things, that'd be great. Although, as I said, just bear in mind, I've not tried this gun with the stock gun using HA, it might be quite fun. So as you can see, I've come on the 1-2 line, despite getting the good spawn, because as I said, I didn't really want to fight the hell in this vehicle. Using my cabo, I managed to spot the uh, artillery, give a lot of lead there, but I do hit the artillery and kill him. But I do get spotted in return. But when you see artillery, you have to kill artillery. Especially when it's two tiers higher than you. Now, the other thing I mentioned is the tank does not have very good view range. But the other reason I can outspot people is because of the view range compared to the camo. There's a big difference between my stationary camo and my view range. That allows me to spot people, even if I do have to get fairly close. And that's why, even on a map like this, which is quite a small map... Um, this tank could still work. So, like, obviously this tank, this map isn't ideal for these kind of long distance tanks usually, but at low tier where the view range is lower and with camel this good, you could make it work. Spot a German TD there, didn't get a shot out of. Can't remember if it was a tier 6 or tier 5, well, it might have been the tier 5 death toaster. But if you look at the map right now, we're a couple tanks down, and we've got teammates on the little TD hill near our base, so I'm going to go back, because I want to try and support them. I'm going to stay on this hill, and hopefully we'll have a bit of a crossfire thing going on. That's my hope. And there's a Hellcat over there who's going to be integral to my win in this game. So we're trying to find the shot. Unfortunately, a couple of buildings in a way that I can't quite see. Tank drives out. Finish off the Panzer 5-4. Because the thing is, those tanks are driving up to the hill that the TDs are on, and like proxy spotting them from the side, but because of where I'm at, I do have the crossfire shots at them. If I was on that hill with them, we'd have a lot more trouble dealing with this. Like, I see the Cheeto, trying to hit him. Do get a nice shot hit. These bit off. That's a nice easy pen, that one. The thing's got no armor. And even though I'm shooting over here, I am aware that obviously I spotted that German TD behind me near their base at some point, as I do no damage there. Uh, to that BK. So you see, I'm actually looking behind me. I am aware of that TD, and in fact, there he is. And you see, I don't get spotted, even when I shoot at him. Because Swedish camo for the win. So again, it's a bit of a... 
troubling choice to make where I'm obviously trying to support my team because I need them to win. Um, if they die, it's over for me. Uh, so I need to really try to support them if I can, but I don't want to um, just let the German TD just run up on me. But this tier 7 light tank, a light tank two tiers higher, he's a priority target. I have to ignore the German TD and I have to go for him. Another nice shot in. The light tank's starting to run now, he's realised that he's caught in a shitty position. And now I'm turning back round, now the light tank's gone. I get spotted by proxy spot, and now I have to run round because I'm getting shot in the ass. Go around, take a shot from the death toaster, kill him. Now as I said, I have to drive in front of him because the light tank and the other guy had a shot at me. Lost over half my hit point from that one shot. Hellcat manages to finish off the anime. A blind shot comes in, it's actually a pretty good blind shot. And now there's a tank right next to me. Considering the uh, IKV or Cheeto, who's still firing blind shots over here by the way. I can't even remember who's alive on the enemy team. I'm going to try and sneak around, see if I can see who's sniping across here, but I can't. And I don't want to go brawl with the... Um, just about get a glimpse of the cheat ham. I don't want to go brawl the KV-1S because he could have a derp gun. And even if he doesn't have the derp gun, he could still one-shot me because I have barely any hit points left after taking only one shot. So I'm going to load the premium heat because KV-1s, they're fairly trolly, armor-wise, and this gun's shite. And then I realized that if I'm going to be shooting at the back of him, I actually don't need the... Um, the... Now it is just the IKV left alive, and I believe the KV. Although I could be wrong there. Either way, both enemies are now spotted near our base. So I'm going to drop down and start making a move. And what I'm going to do is look at the position of the enemies. I'm going to move towards where the IKV is. Assuming he's aiming at our teammate, trying to help his teammate. And then once I get rid of the IKV, we'll have a crossfire on the last remaining tank between me and the Hellcat. Activating the foo just to get my uh, aim time and whatnot as accurate as possible. Because if I come around this corner and miss, I'm probably going to die. Wolverine takes care of the light tank. And that just leaves the IKV. I slow down a little bit, try to find him. Got to take the wide angle around the rock. Spot him, he starts turning around. But the Hellcat gets him. And I said, that Hellcat in that position really helped me out this game. If he wasn't there, we wouldn't have had quite as good a crossfire on the enemies. So I'm quite glad I went 1-2 line. I think it worked out well for our team in the end. MVP, I didn't do too much damage. 1,800, 3 kills, 195 assisted. But this was a tier 7 game. So, I hate this tank, but it was a good result. Ace tanker, and decent silver as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.